Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will be going over the introduction to strings in our C++ programming tutorial series. This will be tutorial number 7 and I do recommend that you go and watch the previous tutorials so you can understand this one better. If you go to my channel and navigate to my C++ programming playlist, you will find all my C++ videos. So let's get to business. Introduction to strings. Okay, so let's uh, go over strings and to actually define variables of type string you have to religiously include this comment. Again, this is something we will come back later because this is an advanced topic. So you have to include this header file exactly as it appears if you want to define a variable of type string. Now what is a string? A string is a variable that can store non-numerical values that are longer than a character. So let's uh, take a look at what I mean. We talked about the integer data type. So if you have an integer, you can be like number one, you can assign a number to it. And then we talked about characters. So if you, if you want to store a single character in a variable, you can define a, a variable of type character and say character, oh, let's just do it, character one, and you can assign the single character A to it. And it's going to be in single quotation marks and character one becomes a so a string is a stream of text so you can define a variable of type string and let's just say string one and you can assign a whole stream of text to it including spaces so this is a string of text full stop okay and then you can there's many 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 different functions that you can use to manipulate strings okay but the, let's start with the simples let's say you wanted to print this on the screen all you do is see out string one okay so let's save this file build and run okay so as you can this as you can see right here this is a string of text so what we did was we defined the variable type and then we assigned this string of text in double quotation marks to that variable and we were able to print it just like we, we will be able to uh, print number one. So if I run this, five will print on the screen. If I type this, A will print on the screen. If I type string one, Okay, string one will appear on the screen. And just to give you a practical use of the, the string, let's say you were writing a program that calculated the um, um, multiplication of two values, and you wanted to tell the user what they were. You can do you can do like something like this title. Okay, so you can be this program calculates the addition of two um, numbers and then you can type in title here and you can even now uh, put something fancy here put a couple lines so it looks like a real title dashes anything that goes between these double quotation marks is a full string including the spaces and all kinds of weird characters okay and then let's do a Two new spaces and again we talked about these in our previous modules say file build and run see it looks like a nice title so if a person was actually running a program like this they would see instantly what the program is able to do this program calculates the addition of two numbers so that's how you would use a um, the string for now we're going to talk more about strings and what we can do to strings in future videos but let me show you a couple more things about strings you can change the value of a string on the go so if I come down here and I say title is now assigned to new intro okay so as you know C++ sequentially runs the code so it runs this code first and string the the title string is in fact this whole thing 
by the time it comes down here to line number 17, title gets reassigned to new intro. Okay, so let's uh, do another C out here um, and type title. File save, build and run. Okay, so the first line executes here. We do a C out, it means console out. The, this one prints right here. And then we reassign the title new intro to the variable title. And then we do a reprint, and as you can see, it says new intro. So the, the 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 string type can be just uh, easy. Just it could be manipulated just as any other number, any other variable. Okay, and uh, and uh, one more thing you can do with the string is let's uh, define another string. Let's uh, declare another one. Let's declare and initialize another uh, string variable. So title two. The other way to de do the declaration is actually open parentheses and double quotation marks say this is string number two and then don't forget the semicolon ever okay this does the exact same thing as this one okay here you have and the assignment you, you use the assignment operator to assign this string to this variable here in the second uh, version you put the string in a block of parentheses and it assigns this value to title 2 okay so to recap to in order to use a string variable you have to add this header okay unlike these other basic data types like integer and character um, where you don't need to include a header with a string you have to include this header in order to use variables of type string that's a very very important thing to remember and uh, that does bring us to the end of this introductory video thank you for watching this video subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and um, click the like button if you enjoyed this video again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next module